Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sports Federation TV, the show that brings you all the news about all the sport in all of the Western Cape. Tonight we've got a jam back show, but before we go there, remember later on in the show you're going to stand a chance of winning that case of assorted bashers drinks, so keep your phone ready for that announcement later. Now coming up today we've got judo, tennis, boxing and bodybuilding. First up, Luki Niehaus from Cape Winelands is joining us to tell us about all the amazing developments in the sport of judo in Cape Winelands. Welcome Luki. Thank you very much. So, tell us a little bit about what's happening in the Cape Winelands currently. The Cape Winelands is go going very good. It's going very good in the Cape Winelands. The uh, judo cars is busy to for the national championship. Um, we gaan so vier toernooi, ach, vier oefeningen wat ons het, nou in hierdie tyd. So, die ouwens is bezig met voorbereiding, so is baie intensief, want die ouwens nog examens ook skryf tussen en so, dit gaan die twee, die, die moet die twee combineer. So, there's so many popular combat martial arts sports out there that people are participating in. For those of us who don't know exactly what judo is, can you describe it a little bit? Judo is meaning the gentle way. So that betekent also op die sachte manier. So that betekent jy gaan nie iemand seer maak, want if you if you can hurt somebody, he's going to stop the sport. So you're going to practice and doing nicely with, with the person in, in judo. Judo is the second biggest sport coat after soccer in the world. Wow. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been involved in judo? I'm now 40, 40 years in longer in, in judo, so I love the sport. It's, a, it's a, also a sport that um, your whole family can take part. Okay. Are you an administrator and a, and a player? Or a, 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 you compete in the sport as well? No, I, I was, I'm stopped. Um, doing the sports, but I'm an administrator. I'm also, also now the Western Cape Judo Federation Chairman and also the Cape Cape, Cape Winans Chairman. Um, in the Western Cape, we have four districts that is running now. Um, out of the six is West Coast, um, Cape Winans, Cape Town and Eden. So we're looking to have persons into Overberg and also in the Central Karoo. So but you must be a qualified coach to teach judo. Right, because of, of uh, what, a, what a impact the sport can have yes, on, you, yes. on you physically. Yes. So you, you mentioned that four regions are currently uh, represented in the Western Cape with two on the horizon. Um, can you describe maybe the structure for us, for those people who'd like to get involved in the sport? See, with judo, you must be a registered member of Judo South Africa. We have, I found out in, in this week also, there is persons who, who teach in Judo, but they are not registered with the sport. So if that person is going to create, the create is non, non exist so it will, mm. not, will not count. So I encourage the people to go and register with, with, judo, with, with judo South Africa. So under the official structures yes, here, yes. in order to be recognized yes. and get graded, that gradings that are recognized. That's right. So um, <coughs> Cape Winelands, I mean, they're doing amazingly well in so many different uh, sport codes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the work that's being done in terms of judo there? Well, there are two younger students who are really doing good in in tournoi in Africa in work wereldwijd gaan deelneem is, is Win en Henry en Tunit Tali. Tunit Tali is een ma wat, wat, wat Tanya de Aguar is. Um, sy was een van ons eerste Olympische spelers wat by die Olympische Spelen gaan deelneem. So, en nou het ek so'n bykie nog weggegeen, die dat is een is Olympische sportkoorde, so mm. is, is baie lekker. Ja, yeah, I mean, it's one of the, the few sports that have that, that status. Yes. So, people can really go the distance if they participate in your sport. Yes. Hey. It's the only thing is money, money wise. We have like a, a club like um, Goed Gedag, is, is persons that haven't got the money, they haven't got clothes. It is persons that uh, parents is drinking alcohol and, and they use drugs. So 
like like tonight that uh, we, we have a practice they're coming with a lorry and all that children is on there they haven't got judo clothes then we're making food for them to 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 eat and we try to develop also the, the kids to, to go forward in oh. their life wow so basic needs like food and yes. transport and and uniform yeah uh, those are some of the challenges you're experiencing yes well it was as a owner hunger is the ganeke lekker kan oefen is so ons probeer die ouse ouse maag ook tenminste kan kan vol maak as hy so gaan die voel dis vat na ons um tornooie ook ons het een development tournament before the time and also and then we we have the open tournament but in your develop tournament we're trying to give give everybody the same medal so if you're winning or losing, everyone will get a medal in the, in the, mm. in the end of the day. It's amazing that uh, your federation is able to provide some of those basic needs. How do you manage to do that? I mean, it can't be easy. It's not be easy, but we have a lot of parents that is helping for that, and I'm very glad, glad, glad is for. So the community comes together they to come, make sure they come, they come, they come together. Yes, that's lovely. Now we we've <coughs> heard that the thirty uh, eighth annual championship was held recently. How did uh, how people do in that? It was uh, go, going w very well. So we I think we was uh, having in South Africa we we was getting six 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 medals there. Wow, and uh, uh, was that from uh, the South Africans? Obviously, yes, yes. Um, how many of that team was Western Cape people? There was two, but they was not, not, not uh, having having a, a medal at, at, at that tournament. But we hope for the next time. How diversely is the is the sport represented in the Western Cape? Very good. If you all 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 the clear what that is, uh, what deal name so uh, is very good for diversity world. Uh, Die ons doen baie goeie ontwikkeling tussen tussen alles alles type van van gemeenskappe. Okay, so at the championships you see everybody. Everybody for uh, the Western Cape is the most diverse. I I can tell you that. You also had your uh, Cape Winelands judo tournament recently. Yes, we have was having one, and uh, that was also where they choose choose the team that it was is well going to the SA Championships in in Bloemfontein from the 2nd to the 8th, 8th of July, so there's also cost. So, all the world is like, it's not, we have big, big sponsors, so you must pay, pay, pay it your own pockets. Oh, okay. So, in terms of ages, how young are the children getting involved in the sport? You can start uh, with judo with five and six, but if you want to go to the SA Championships, you must be uh, nine years old. Nine years old yeah. for the essays. For the essays. Okay, so you brought some nice photos for us to have a look at. And we see these three beautiful children. Was this a tournament? Yes. A grading? That was, uh, I, can, I, can, I can see now at my tie. I can see it was a, was a, was a Cape, Cape, Cape Islands tournament. Cape Islands tournament. And this, these are more of the children that participated yes, yes, in that. Yes, yes. So you've mentioned that it's the second biggest sport in the country, and it's well represented, and you can you can compete from a very young age up until you, in the geriatric population. Yes. Uh, do you? What would you say are the mental and physical benefits about about being involved in a sport like this? Physical, uh, you must be very fit. Like, like we, when I was doing judo, I, you practice like five, five, five hours a day. It's, you must be very fit, and, and, and uh, the seniors is fighting like five minutes. But if you're going, I, I was seeing, I don't want to make a sport go, go bad, but if you take like a rugby player, you, you can be a rugby fit. But if you come to judo, you will not be judo fit. Right. And, and, and a lot of the rugby players that is doing good like Kone Krieger was doing judo with me and he was one of our, our best, best uh, South African rugby players. Okay, so not only is it good for the sport, it might be good for other sports too. For, for other sports too. For, uh, for, for, for all your um, voorspeers, is that, want as you can good verdedig, judo help you om goeie verdediging te kan doen. Okay, so what are some of the events that are coming up that maybe the public can go watch? 
the, the biggest one I w was telling now is, is, is now what everyone is, is going for is our uh, South African uh, National Championships. I can also explain that you have like individual judo you know, where you're fighting alone, but also also with your district. But then you have in your f fourth or fifth day, you have your your team team competition. Then you stand in a long row and every weight's fighting against each each other. And then the the, uh, the the one team that have the most most points at the end of the day w will be the winner. And uh, last year we have in every category from like we like group one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is our, our categories. And I think in all that categories we have on the on the uh, first three. Okay. So wow. Cape Islands do, doing very ve well, and uh, also uh, on spear. Destrek, so it is now eight langs of Cape Town. Do not buy good so we was gonna for the other ones so be wise very very easy. Oh you mentioned you mentioned the, the beer part. So are are we getting uh, participants from the farm workers um, areas and stuff like that as well? Yes, is it like uh, that uh, we have uh, a, lo a lot of them now who's taking part because I'm also a politician so I like that the people must can go go forward, and uh, I want to see that I can have a better life in in, in in the day. Absolutely. So, where can people get more information if they want to be involved in judo? We have a Facebook, like uh, we have a Cape Island Judo Association fa Facebook uh, uh, page, and I think also Cape Town. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for your passion and what you're doing in the Cape Islands for sport yes. and for the district itself. And I will come and tell you. At the Cape Islands and maybe the Cape Town, and I know the West Coast and the Eden is new to districts, but they are also going to take part, mm -hmm. and I wish them all very well. We wish them well too. Yes. Okay, thank you. And uh, that's all from Judo today. Uh, after the break, an amazing woman from w from Cape Town bodybuilding is joining us. So don't go anywhere. <laughs>